Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraftastic, and I have a, a PR package from Isis Ella Jewels. So we're just gonna dive in and see what we've got. And once I open the package, I will be doing a planner spread with whatever is in this package. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. So I received this yesterday and didn't realize where it was from or I would have done this yesterday. But this morning I came in and looked and saw that it was from Isis Ella Jewels. So let's see what we've got. This is the new sale that is actually this afternoon. It starts at 6 p.m. Let me give you all the specs now. So the sale starts at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you get a good look now. Be prepared for the sale this evening. Okay, just a few hours away actually. So I know what these are. I'm just gonna separate them by size. Okay, so these are kits. I'm not sure what these are. These are dolls. Let's start with the dolls. So this is Tony in the fur coat. We have Joy. She looks like she's doing a, a yoga position. Then we have Ruby. Posing it up. Star. Okay, and then Healing Me Lily. So we got some Lily this time. Journal and Sip Lily. Relax Lily. Then Elaine. I like these with the laptop and working that look. Leslie. Zoe and Carrie. Okay, so those are all very nice. Let's move on to this pile. Okay, so these are the journaling squares. This is heel. My ancestors' prayers. Leave them alone. Okay, so there's that. Then this is the kits. Lots of them. Ooh. So this is Faithful to the End. Let's decide which one we're going to use today. That's a good one. Believing in Me. That's another good one. <laughs> Keep the faith. Oh, I'm going to have a hard time deciding. Prepare for your come up. I like the colors here. The moon and sun. It's really nice. Learn new lessons. I like this one too. I like all of these so far. The healer. This is with Lily. Soul of a Queen. Oh, the florals. Love is all I need. That's a contender too. And then Bless the Broken Road. Okay. It's got that buffalo plaid in there. Uh, let's see. I like this one because it has the days of the week, even though it doesn't have any florals. And these are really nice. So don't forget to go and grab your favorites in the sale. And actually there's a bundle that's the best value where you could probably get all of this, I think, in the bundle. I'm not sure, but you can go check it out. Check out uh, Isis Ella Jewels on Instagram for more information. 
and I will link to the website the Instagram and put the times of the sale everything in the description box below along with my discount code okay so I've made my decision I'm gonna use um, I think I'm going to use this one. I'll decide for sure in a moment. So let's set these aside for now. So like I mentioned, I am going to be doing a spread. I was going to go ahead and start in one of my A5 binders, but I wanted to also share this planner that you haven't really seen in a while. Um, this is my craft planner uh, or slash notebook and i just want to share it with you and we will be doing the spread in this planner today so what i have here if you remember i did these clear covers using acetate uh, a while back on the channel i'll link to the video in the icard up above and this is disc bound this is a diy planner i made it all myself just purchased the discs and the other supplies to actually make it so this is what it looks like I don't keep it clean and pretty um, I have notes throughout sticky notes this dashboard I actually made on an Instagram video I think um, but I haven't used it a whole lot but I have been using it as you can see I have October in here already so normally I don't do weekly spreads here um, but I'm finding that I kind of need to keep up a little bit better with my craft projects so I may start actually doing weekly spreads and I also have the monthly in here just in case I need it and it will also help me kind of schedule out things I haven't used it yet but it is there if I need it. These are the inserts that are available to patron elites. So every month you get the following month's um, insert. Uh, I will be changing the look a little bit for 2022. It's going to be more minimal so that you can decorate or add to them as you need. Um, so I'm going to do next week, which is the 18th through the 21st. And I did not print these on the best paper. So this is really just for me to jot things down. It wasn't supposed to be anything photo ready, if you will. Okay, so let's set that aside. So this is a pouch that I got from Walmart a while ago. I don't think I really have it. Oh yeah, I do have the bee themed um, notepad on the inside here. That is from Cookie Sticker Co. And then I just have some die cuts from JD and Brooklyn. I think these are from Gold Mine and Coco. And this one from Coco's Vision. I just have some pens that I use in here. Nothing special. And then I also have these um, Zig. I think they're by Zig. Yep. Uh, the dot color dot markers or pens. I didn't actually share these in a haul, but I have been using them a little. I do like them. If you haven't heard of them or don't know what they are, you can use them to make your lists. Let's see if I can have find a piece of paper here. Um, so if you don't have like a checklist sticker, you don't want to use that. You can use these to make checklists. So you just so rounded tip like that on one end and then it's got the I don't know what you call it uh, fine tip on the other end this is what the fine tip looks like it's very light can't really see that but this is what the dot end looks like and depending on how hard you smash it gives you how big of a dot you get so if you just do a light little touch then you can make your list where you can check things off so that's what these are i got a small set because i just wanted to try them out um just to see how they were and they work well um so yeah anywho so those i will link to them in the description box below for anyone who's interested in those and 
So I just have those in the front pocket there. And th that's basically it. It has these elastics here. I have myself a little note there. They have the elastics here that I just slide onto the clear cover. And this kind of stays on there all the time. Okay. So let's get on to the planning. So since I'm using this one, I'm pretty sure I'm using this one. Um, it's pink. So that's good for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is going to be a minimal spread. I'm not going to go overboard. I'm going to use this. I think it goes okay. This is from Simply Gilded. Uh, it's pumpkins. And I think it's from last year. I don't think it's this year. I haven't used it much. So let's use some of this. And do I have enough room at the top for it? No. So we may not get to use that. Okay. I'm just thinking, trying to figure things out. Since we already have dates on this, I'm not going to cover the dates, but I will use the days of the week. So I'm just going to put those down. Okay, so there is that. And you can also use these for journaling. I think I'm going to use the bigger one. Um, so I'll put her there. Uh, stop accepting less than you deserve. I'm going to put that on. Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going to put journal on Friday because I do want to start journaling. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but junk journaling has kind of made its way into the planner community, but it's a different style of junk journaling. So, so we are going to be playing around with that soon okay so i'm gonna put this here on sunday and i'm glad that the the little uh captions underneath are separate so it says plan to win put that there and then put this on Monday even though my journal is on Friday so these are little headers that's different I haven't seen those before let's see if there is another doll we want to use in here besides Lily Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use one of these lilies in here, actually. I'm going to use her right here with the journal sticker. Let's see if I can move this sticker. I doubt it. Let's see. Give it back. I don't want it to fall behind her head. So let's move it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we put some Lily down. I feel like I need something more over here. Let's see if one of the journaling squares will work. Let's use her. You know, I like to keep the whole journaling square kit together. She kind of goes, so I want to use her. 
now so that's i think everything i'm going to use i still have enough stickers here to do a whole other spread and I actually could do a journaling spread with this so we may use that coming up in a journaling type spread so i still want to use the pumpkins um so i'm going to ooh, put this washi here just kind of sprinkle it throughout and as you can see this is almost full and I'm about to stop adding to it <laughs> um, Let's see, let's put these here. I think that's enough with the washi. I didn't really want to mix or use any other stickers with the kit. But I am going to do that. I find that a lot of people have problems mixing different stickers, like if it's outside of the kit that you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use some of the pumpkins from Chella Creates. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use some of the pink boxes and some of the items from the Chella Creates kits that I used previously just to give it more of that autumn fall feel and a little touch of breast cancer awareness month so let's place this here and I'm just trimming off the very bottom of the pumpkins um, I hate to do that here, but I just did it at the bottom, but I'm going to put that one there Then I'm going to get a lighter colored one and put behind it, build it up a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to try and stay away from the florals and just use the pumpkins. Okay, so I think that livens it up a little bit more. It's a little deco. Then I'm going to take a box or two and add to this. I'm going to use, what is this, a half box? I'm going to use that up here in this notes area. And then... I think I can use one of these long ones right here. And let's see if we can peel up the day of the week. There we go. Now it's coming together. Okay. I'm gonna use another long box up here. This box will fit in here. Let's see. Yeah, it will fit. Okay. It's a little something down here. And over here. Okay. So I think that added something to it. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
So it's pretty easy to combine different elements even if you're using a kit. Sometimes you don't want to use the whole kit or you don't need to use the whole kit and you can just kind of play around with things. I do want to put the a version of this on here though. Let's see how big she is. So let's we can flip through these real quick again so you can see what you're getting. There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. Zoe is kind of cool too. But I won't use her. I'll save her for another spread. I don't want to put everything in one straight row. It kind of, I don't know. I just don't like to do that. It, it takes away from the spread. Kind of want your eye to move around instead of just going, okay, here's everything. Here's everything. So let's put it right here. And I think that is going to be it. So don't forget the sale tonight. Let me know what you think of the spread. Let's go ahead and put this back in. This goes here. Okay. And I've already put my storage pouch back on the cover. That's usually how I keep this notebook. So this is what the spread looks like. Let's see if I can prop it up a little bit. So it's mostly even. So yeah, that's the spread. Don't forget about the sale tonight over at Isis Ella Jewels. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Make sure you go check that out. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you the front. So this is what I, it normally looks like. This notebook slash planner normally looks like this. I don't take the pouch off. I leave it on the front cover. Um, and I had it just right so that it didn't buckle from the stress of the elastic. So I'll have to adjust it again since I took it off. But back to the spread. All right, so that is the spread using Isis Ella Jewels, a few deco stickers from Cella Creates and boxes from my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!